I'm going to show you how to make this delicious, easy and gluten-free buckwheat and teff bread. I actually came up with this recipe after a viewer of mine had a special request for me. Now this viewer can't tolerate that many gluten-free flours, so I decided I needed to come up with a good loaf of gluten-free bread which only had two flours, buckwheat and teff. And here's the result. So for this recipe, you need 270 milliliters of water, seven grams of yeast, of dried yeast, a hundred grams of buckwheat flour, a hundred grams of teff flour, 10 grams of psyllium husk powder, extremely important. Please don't leave this out or the recipe won't work and five grams of salt. As usual, make sure that you use a digital food scale. Gluten-free bread making is extremely tricky. You need to have the exact proportions right. So the first thing you need to do is put the water in a bowl, add your dried yeast, and sprinkle just a little bit of sugar on the dried yeast and the water. Then leave this for about 10 minutes so that the yeast is activated. So as you can see, after about 10 minutes, you start seeing little bubbles on the surface of the water. That means the yeast is activated. And now you are going to add the flours. So that's first 100 grams of buckwheat flour and then 100 grams of teff flour. Next, 10 grams of psyllium husk powder and five grams of salt. And now all you need to do is give this a good mix. So next you simply take a rectangular cake tin and you line it with non-stick baking paper and you put your bread dough in there. As you can see, it's quite compact, a little bit sticky. So just, just flatten it a bit in the cake tin Anyway, it is going to rise beautifully. You'll see, it's not going to stay like that. <laughs> so when you've done that, you are going to have to let the dough rise. To rise, bread needs a nice, warm, humid environment, but it must not be too hot, so be careful. I personally put it in my cold oven with a bowl of steaming hot water. I then close the door and I leave it in there for about an hour until it's risen. Okay, so this is what it looks like after about two hours of rising. As you can see, it hasn't risen a lot. This is because there is no starch, right? I didn't put potato starch or corn flour, corn starch. However, it has just about doubled in size. I'm now preheating my oven at 200 degrees and as soon as it's hot, I'm going to stick it in my oven 200 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes. Let's go. Okay, and that's what it looks like just after 35 minutes of cooking in the oven. I'm going to let it cool down and then we'll taste it. So there you go. Look at this. The bread has cooled down. I've cut it and it looks truly delicious. As I said before, it's quite compact because there's no starch, but it looks absolutely delicious. Let's taste. So there you go. Mm. Honestly, my viewer here who left a comment and asked me, had this special request for me, I could not be more grateful for you because truly I have discovered a bread that is quite unique. Now you see it tastes a lot of buckwheat. Of course buckwheat flour has a particular taste, right? But I love it and the teff, you can really taste the teff as well. It's really nice. It's quite a compact bread. It feels super healthy, super delicious. I think it will go really well with any topping, really. A little bit of homemade jam, some honey, some cheese. Perfect to make sandwiches. I absolutely love it. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Now, if you have a special request for a video as well, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment with a special request. I'll try my very best to make a video for you. Now, 
My guess is if you enjoyed this video, you need to go and watch this one next. Bye for now. See you in the next video.